Parkway. And we are expecting to see quite a bit of rain here in Colorado. Also, tomorrow it is going to be noticeably colder, and we are going to be tracking the potential for some moderate to heavy rain across the lower elevations, which could lead to some flooding concerns, especially if we get some of that heaviest rain to move over area burn scars. As for snow, most of the snow is going to accumulate above 10,000 feet. So if you are below 10,000 feet, while you could see a rain snow mix around portions of Teller County, lower elevations, this is going to primarily be a rain event. So let's start off with the temperatures. Tonight we'll be dropping into the 40s and 50s for the lower elevations, 30s and 40s expected up across the high country. High temperatures tomorrow, not much warmer than our overnight lows. We are only going to be getting into the 40s and 50s across southern Colorado. Factor in a 10 to 20 mile per hour wind with gusts at times up to 35 miles per hour, and it is going to feel even colder than it actually is. I'm going to walk you through this storm from start to finish. Here's a look at Skycast beginning you off. At 6 o'clock this evening, we are tracking a few scattered showers along the southern I-25 corridor. These should start to slide out across the plains here over the next couple of hours. I don't anticipate that we'll see any severe weather, though, as we take you through the evening. Through tonight, we are expecting these scattered showers to continue through about midnight, with most of the rain across the southeastern corner of the state, as well as up near Denver, some snow falling across some of our ski resorts. As we take you into early tomorrow morning, though, we are expecting a cold front to move through. Behind the cold front, rain is really going to begin to fill in. Some of the heaviest rain during the morning drive tomorrow is going to be up near Denver. If you are making the commute to Denver tomorrow morning, give yourself some extra time. You're likely going to need it because the rain could be heavy at times around Denver. The rain is going to continue expanding towards southern Colorado as we take you through lunchtime. Here's a look at noon, and you can see most of that rain sliding all the way along the I-25 corridor, and we are going to keep this trend going through 3 o'clock. Heavy rain starting to push into the San Luis Valley around 3 o'clock with some of the heavier rain pushing into Walsenburg and Trinidad around 7 o'clock. This area of rain spreading off toward the north as we take you into tomorrow night and heavy rain lasting all the way through your Thursday morning. So we are going to be tracking rain off and on throughout the day tomorrow and into Thursday morning. And again, it could be heavy at times with another soggy morning drive expected on Thursday morning. Checking out your seven-day forecast tomorrow. Upper 40s Thursday morning. It is going to be a Wet start to the day, but storms should come to an end by the second half of the day. Temperatures slightly warmer. We're back in the 60s on Friday. Friday afternoon, just a scattered chance for storms. We dry it out just in time for the weekend. Temperatures sticking around the 50s and 60s through early next week. It's going to be chilly in Pueblo tomorrow, 55, 57 on Thursday. We're back in the 60s, though, on Friday. Rain chances are out of the forecast this weekend, but we will bring a chance for rain back Monday and Tuesday. In Canyon City tomorrow, 53 degrees. And again, with the wind, it's going to feel even colder. 56 on Thursday, a chance for rain will continue through Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We will dry it out, though. In Teller County, this is one of those areas where we could see a bit of a rain-snow mix. Could see accumulations between about 1 to 2 inches for some of the higher elevations around Teller County, but I don't anticipate that it's going to cause any travel issues as the roads are still pretty warm across the area. So you'll notice a few flakes likely blowing around early tomorrow morning and then even more so Thursday morning. Temperatures only in the 40s, 50s Friday, Saturday into the weekend. We'll have a slight chance for a few lingering showers early Saturday. That comes to an end by Saturday afternoon. So pretty active here as we head through the next couple of days. Active and much colder. So lots of folks on Facebook have been saying, I want fall. Bring me the snow. Bring me the rain. Well, here you go. I better not hear any complaints on Facebook tomorrow. <laughs> Rachel about it. is bringing it to you.